This game is one for the books and definitely up for the beauty prize here at the Gibraltar Masters. David Navarra joins us in our studio after his spectacular win. David, a very, very nice win with the black pieces at a very critical moment in the tournament and a very fascinating game as well. Thank you very much. Uh, may I show you the lens? Yes. Take us through the critical moments. Not, not to you, but to the spectators. <laughs> so at this position, uh, White is a pawn up, but his king could potentially become weak. And I expected knight 1a3, when, one, when White uh, wants to castle queen side. And my problem is that my pieces are somehow pinned. And if I don't want to exchange queens, uh, I have problems to organize counterplay. For example, if I play bishop a8, and white castles, and uh, I go here, f4 might become a threat as my d7 knight is hanging. Yes, and you don't want to trade queens because you've got your pawn down in this position, yes. so you want to keep the pieces on. Okay, I might have some compensation, but uh, I would prefer to keep the queens on the board. So, I was really surprised by knight a7, but it's actually not uh, easy to react correctly to this move. So I was afraid I could be worse, but uh, I took. Uh, so you were surprised because you were spending a lot of your time calculating knight a3. You weren't expecting knight a7 on the board. Uh, I spent some time calculating knight a3, but I just uh, considered it uh, a logical move. If right. anything can be logical in such a crazy position. <laughs> and I have not seen knight a7 at all because it, to me it looked that what should complete his development and I believed I should have some counterplay here after bishop c5, probably some draw, which was true. Okay, originally, originally I believed that knight c5 could be good, but unfortunately it's not the case for what can give up his queen and to get a rook or and two minor pieces for it, right. which is quite a lot. So I played bishop c5. Okay, what can decline the offer, the offer, but then maybe I take on b2, ah, oh, sorry. No problem. Then maybe I take on b2 and uh, get at least uh, counterplay. You mean with rook b8 yes. next? Yes, uh, knight d2, rook b8, rook takes b2, and it's unclear. Let's just have so, that. so this was your threat if, black do if white doesn't trade? Yes, so he took the piece, and it was not actually so easy to find a good move here because I had so many options like queen d6, queen d5, but the problem is that after queen d6, the queen will not be on d5, and uh, in some lines it's not that good. For example, here, if I give check on g3, what just moves his king on c2 and consolidates somehow, and uh, I might be losing, probably. And instead, if uh, why, if uh, black plays uh, rook d8 at this position, now uh, queen d6 is actually not such a good move. Now I would have preferred to have my queen on d5 for now. Uh, with queen on d5, uh, should I black, let me try? Yes, thank you. Black has a good position, whereas here white can probably play both uh, queen a6 and even queen d4. And with queen on d5, there would have been a check queen on d3. Queen b3 but and you uh, take it. But now white has bishop d3. Oh nice, tempo. this is a very nice detail. And then your queen's attacked as well. Yes, I missed this move. No, there is a pawn, sorry, I couldn't see it. <laughs> I wanted to conclude that there was a rook g1, but uh, I just had my hand in front of the board, so okay. Uh, but before you go any further, I have to ask you, because this is quite an important moment here, you decided to sacrifice the piece. Uh, how much of it was on calculation or how much was on feel that his king is in the center and you will have play? Okay, if I saw a decent option, I would have had to calculate more or maybe would not have played that. But I mean, it's not so easy to come up with a decent alternative to this because otherwise uh, I'm... After taking here, for example, you, you wouldn't consider just going back knight to c6, it's not... Uh, okay, I can, but uh, if white plays 
something like knight d2 D2 and long castle or, or maybe even knight a3 and rook d1 or bishop g2 or bishop b5 i mean the, my pieces are tangled okay yes. what i said now was not that great most of the moves don't really work but say knight d2 yes and uh, i'm a pawn down and uh, okay if i start a counterplay it might be good but uh, i was not that sure that i would bishop c5 is time. fantastic because you're just playing against his yes. king after this yes i Tried to calculate quite a, quite something, but originally I had believed queen d5 to be the move. But unfortunately, there are other drawbacks with this move. I think uh, knight d2, which I underestimated, because now the problem is that now the line with uh, rook d8 would have worked if black if white had to castle, but he does not have to. And uh, sorry. He does not have to castle and uh, he has maybe Indeed. even knight f3 or knight c4 and I will be very lucky to... You mean this runs into knight yes, b3? Knight b3, yeah, yeah. now it works nicely. Yeah. But uh, I'm afraid uh, he can move, just move his move knight somewhere or maybe even play rook d1 when I don't have check on g3 immediately. But uh, okay, I then decided to move my rook first and to move my queen depending on what white plays. For example, bishop e2 looks completely wrong to me. White spent about 20 minutes uh, choosing between the two moves, whereas I was sure that there would be something against bishop, D, bishop e2, but actually it's not really easy to find mm. uh, its refutation. For example, if I play this, which I want, uh, which was one of the options which I saw. Knight f4? Yes, I saw king f3, rook c4, which is very dangerous for white. I don't know if it's really winning, maybe king g3, maybe queen c8. But uh, white's king is really weak, and there are some lines where king goes here, black sacrifices the other rook, and there was mate. The king somewhere. I mean, it looks very really dangerous, but I have to ask you, David, to explain to us that why not just take on h3 and keep all the play, or do you think rook c4 is just I'm afraid much better? the knight would be misplaced here. Right. And the problem with uh, queen d3 queen is. Queen e3. Uh, yes, exactly. I mean, maybe black can draw somehow here, but it was not exactly what I would have expected. And uh, But uh, what told me, uh, uh, I mean, Alan Pichot told me that the king e1 could be a move here and uh, that white seems to hold and some queen e3. I don't know if it's true, but anyway, I saw also another move. He disliked queen d5 and he was probably right, but uh, I saw yet another option, namely rook e7. Yeah. And it's a nice geometric motif. Yes, uh, it's sorry. just. Not and uh, queen a5. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's... Yes, uh, yeah. queen e8, when white cannot play queen b5 any longer. And if he plays uh, rook e3, he's unlikely to survive. You if just I take, take twice. Yeah. I mean, his king is extremely weak and he is not in time to castle this mm -hmm. time. So he's unlikely to survive. And after king f1, I just recapture some material. And after knight a3, yeah. I have... Uh, Maybe yeah, even queen, queen e4 with continuing attack when white's king is extremely weak. So it's, uh, it should be... Also these positions, all these positions are so scary to play for, uh, for white. Yes. Uh, but you intuitively felt during the game that bishop e2 there should be something very yes, strong yes, for you. Yes, exactly. I would have played rook e3 almost immediately right. myself. He took about 20 minutes to make this move. And how were you evaluating the position after this trade? I saw that uh, I was probably not losing, that I probably had to draw, and I was happy with it. Because this is the point, queen e8, when king d2 fails to check on b3, king e2 fails to queen b5 check, queen takes b2. Right. And so king f2 is forced, and now I first give check. Because if I played queen e5, which uh, was my first idea, what well, can take on a5, and then uh, move his king on f3, for example, f3. So queen h2, king f3. Yes, and he's probably even winning or certainly not losing. So, uh, And now it looks good for white. Uh, queen c6 doesn't really work. Maybe even, I think bishop g2 is a good, a good move then, when black does not really have a, great a check. strong discovered check. And if bishop g2 did not work, there would be something else, I assume. But uh, I had seen this nice idea of f5. So After I, king f3? Yes, so 
Instead, white could have played either king e1 when queen e5, queen d4 probably does not work, so black probably has to repeat moves. Or king g1, when I saw that I could give perpetual, but uh, possibly not more. I have to ask you a question here that uh, in such complex positions where you know there's no you don't see a direct win but you feel there's initiative when you see a line which leads to a draw uh, do you stop the calculation there and think that okay at least it's safe uh, is that a good strategy to in such positions it depends on what the alternatives promise because if uh, the position is worse for me in the other lines and I see at least a draw you go for uh, it yes I go for it right. and, uh, when I have a move which brings me advantage without complication, I think for longer usually, or rely on my intuition. I mean, okay, intuition is a nice thing, but uh, it should be complemented by cal with calculation and the other way around also. Yes. And uh, I'm sometimes joking that intuition is an ability to uh, make correct conclusions based on wrong or incomplete uh, grounds. <laughs> Right. So, king f3 is a mistake in my opinion. So, as I have f5, and now I'm threatening queen h5 check. f5 is a very nice move because it yes. just opens up. And you said this is an idea you had seen earlier. Yes, I had seen it several moves earlier. Uh, gf6 is uh, probably forced. And uh, I think white resigned a bit too early, or not resigned, but gave up a bit too early here. Because uh, after queen g4, the main point is that white cannot play king c2 in view of queen d1 mate. But in fact, after queen d4, I think there might be reasonable drawing chances. Maybe queen c4, or king c4 now when I take first before taking, or maybe king e4. And now white recaptures with one of his pawns. I don't know which is the right way to recapture it, but the idea is to take, now possibly to play h5, and then possibly to sacrifice uh, the, knight. Uh, the knight and try to create some fortress, ideally not losing the rook on the way. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know if it works. Another idea is uh, to bring the king on c5, uh, recapture with the other pawn and trying to march the pawns. Right. And, but uh, he decided to go for king e5 yes. here. Yes. And it collapsed quite quickly now. Yes. Uh, frankly speaking, originally I uh, had not seen one important dis defensive idea, namely king d6 here, which uh, seems to work somehow because now there's king e7 and <laughs> white gets too much material for the queen. After queen g7, you yes, just take. Yes. Yes. And after queen d1, I think. If nothing else, even d4 and queen d4 could be interesting, but uh, when white uh, saves the rook and uh, his bishop, but probably he can just play something like king e7. It, it still looks very scary after yes, queen it, d8, and yes, but maybe there's yes, no mate. You're right, it looks scary, <laughs> but I saw something which looked better to me, regardless whether Nine white two, plays yeah. this or does he So in all lines, the queen is sacrificed to just get some sort of a fortress yes. in the end, but... In fact, there is a, an important nuance uh, that the black should not give this check. Because of queen because e7. Of queen e7, when white gets uh, plenty of material for his queen. So I played rook e8 now, and now king d6 or king d5 does not work. After king d5, there is queen e4 check, and it's basically the same, because after king c5, white can e3. win the queen. Yeah. Okay, and uh, right. after king c7, there is mate. In fact, more than one, Very probably. Very beautiful. This is, this, yes. is, this is a beautiful game, David. So king e, queen e7, gf6, now... This is not an option in view of queen g6 or yes. queen h4. So king d6, and uh, now I have an important check. And frankly speaking, I was lucky. I mean, even queen b3 is better for black, but far from winning. And uh, taking on e7, I missed this option. But luckily for me, black is still winning, because now mate is threatening. And if black played queen a2, white would have drawn. This is like a study position yes, because it, black has yes, to play h5. Exactly, and now white just gives perpetual check on g6, off. g7, and g8. Yes. But what black plays h5 instead, and after queen, after rook g6, there is probably even a check or king h7, and it seems to me that uh, it should be an easy win now. Right. So, 
Sorry. But here, Black Chip, why just went B4 and it just collapses after this? Yes, because uh, his rook is hanging and his knight is hanging and there are so many checks. Uh, I mean, not a nationality, I'm mean, the only Czech player <laughs> in the band tournament. But uh, uh, just White King is so weak that there are always some checks. Uh, I, my original intention was uh, Queen C1 when I'm threatening some sophisticated... Okay, no, I'm threatening just okay. this, but uh, if White plays... Uh, I mean, if white plays king e8, you have queen b2 as well. Yeah, I mean, I can take and... But yes, many there, things. There was some idea connected with queen c7 in some line, but uh, I dislike to check. Uh, no, 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 no check. Then I disliked queen, king d6. Queen b2, I could not find anything better. So he has to yes, give a check. check. And now after... Uh, now king g7. Sorry. No. After... Knight e3, black is still winning a rook through queen oh, e5, very nice. queen e4, or queen, queen d5, d5, depending on where white's king goes. But there's rook a7, and of course it is lost. We all know that it is lost. But uh, I would still need to some make time. some moves. And uh, okay, I still need to be a little bit careful. But after queen d3, just nothing works because I'm surging to win a rook. Yes. If the rook goes on a8, there will be a double attack on e4. If it goes on a7, there will be double attack on e3. Yes. And uh, if the rook moves elsewhere, then at least the knight is hanging. So the queen is just very yes. powerful yes. in all positions. And this loses... The rook again to g7 yes. check. Yes. That's a beautiful game, David, to win with the black pieces in yes. this manner. Uh, definitely puts you in the mood for the last round. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I hope uh, I will play well in the last round and uh, I'm happy to have played such a nice game because it's probably my best, uh, not maybe not best, but uh, my nicest game I have uh, played in Gibraltar so far. Wow, that's saying something. That F5 move was absolutely class and also such a nice game that we had Grandmaster Liam here in the commentary room watching throughout. Uh, this one's up for a beauty prize for sure. Well done today and best of luck for Thank tomorrow. You.